this is Victor. I'm here with the second part on the painting tutorial of uh, the Forge theme. Uh, in the first part, we did all the base colors except here and some of the days, but the main base colors was done. We start doing the <coughs> sort of some of the highlights on the armor plates uh, as well. We did all the washes. We also uh, uh, the weapons are painted using more or less the same color, so. This one, uh, if you see how I did the head, it's going to be the same for the weapons, okay? So, uh, if you want to know how I arrived to this stage, uh, go to my channel. Uh, I have the first part where I explain uh, how I was painting the forge fin. In the second part, we will proceed from this uh, step. So, the next step I'm going to use, uh, here we have all the wires, and I'm going to highlight a little bit the wires. To, to do that, I'm going to use Dawnstone first. And we are going to, this can be a little bit time consuming, but yeah, I, I, I don't think we can do the very brush here because we have a lot of mixture of, I suppose, uh, wire and, and, and wire with the coating, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, just very patiently, I will pick up the different wires and start doing something like that, okay? You, don't, you will see that there is a lot of uh, exposed wires where you don't need to do this. Okay, so mainly, but in some other places you want to do. And then, here for example, I realized that I missed some. So if you realize that you have missed miss some of the corrugate, take iron breaker. Okay. Here I missed some. We'll take iron breaker and paint the corrugate wire that goes inside, okay? Okay, so something like that. And I go back to, important here, go back to downstone and I will It's just to, to make the wires pop up a little bit more and the main reason is not to, to, to show that these are wires and not just a mass of grey thing, right? It's not just a big grey thing, just to show that there are really wires. This is why we did the wires first to make it, to create some shading. Now I'm using the silver, and then here that I make a mistake with the silver, I went out. I will come with the gray, and I will clean up. If you see that it's not cleaning up well, we go back with ashing gray. This out. Okay, so we can use ashing gray again, and go on top of this. Okay, if you see that something is too obvious, you go with ashing gray and clean up. Okay. For example here. I want to go this. So, yeah, this is not too... Um... The point here is, the difficulty part is in, yeah. I decide maybe the gray is not the best choice to show the core weight. But it's not bad, okay? So, let's go now back to the flesh. Remember, we did the first highlight with flesh stone. Now we're going to do a second highlight with uh, on the flesh color. Uh, and I'm going to use now um, Kriek Kakaki, okay? 
So this is a much lighter color, it's an edge paint. To check it well. We are going to apply this just in some parts of the musculature to pop up a little bit more this flesh color. Okay, by the way, this is also a nice flesh color for demons. For normal demons, I mean. We want for the zombies. Okay. You can see, I try to. Okay, you want to just give here and there some additional highlight. Okay. Okay, sorry for the interruption. So, what I was saying is, we just want to pick some. Pars. and do some additional highlight that way the flesh will pop up a little bit more and we are going to increase the contours with the dark metal we have on the other parts okay next leg you really want to emphasize what you have I like to emphasize next to the dark parts to show that like here how the musculature is broken Okay, and keep doing. So I'm going to do the rest of the musculature and I show you once all this flesh is done. Okay, next we are going to work on highlighting and or doing some scratches on the metal. I'm going to use trash metal from scale 75. And what we are going to do is we are going to apply this doing a little bit of uh, like edge highlighting. Uh, to show like the metal is more polished at the at the edges okay so we are going to go and follow the different decoration on the metallics and do this type of edge highlight on all the parts this will uh, this will make the 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 miniature to pop up a little bit more uh, keeping the dual, the metal dual but and uh, not looking looking a little bit cleaner because now it's looking a little bit dirty okay, and we can do for example this type of things we can do it completely with completely with this metallic okay uh, it's a silver with a very this is a silver with a very lightly touch of of um, bronze on it. So I'm going to keep doing all the metallics like that. The part that I'm not going to do is the the chimneys or the exhaust pipes. These ones I will go the opposite. I want them to look darker. So we are going to, I want to show you how to do darker. So Okay, so you see I'm following here. Okay, 
doing. So let me show you maybe the part of this. Uh, when you have this part here, uh, I'm going to touch all the rivets. Okay. And then when the rivets are touched, we're going to do something like that. Right. You can do some crossing lines like this one and then keep doing especially if you see damages and you can see that here what I'm doing as edge highlight it's like a very small strokes perpendicular to the edge. Okay, you see I'm going like that. And this is done in purpose to give the sensation of broken edge or not a very clean edge on these things okay so I will keep doing that let me do a little bit more here in the camera I will keep doing that and I show you once it's done on all the video. Okay, this is called no is looking like all the metal. And yeah, we have done here looking quite nice now. And now I'm going to start working on the OSL. So I will do OSL on all these things and as well on the plasma things. And of course we are going to do later on OSL on the plasma cannons, okay? So I will explain how I do this and this, and this is going to be very similar to the plasma ones. So first I'm going to I'm going to, to go for a green OSL and I will apply mood green. Okay. So this is going to be like the base color. And we're going to apply this on all these things. Okay, and try to fill it completely. Okay, we are going to do that. Okay, what you see here. We're going to do the same on the others. And as you can see, I try to eliminate the darker part a little bit and painting. I'm showing that the full hole is filled with the green. And we are going to do the same here on the plasma thing. So we are going to apply the mood green on the plasma. Okay, so I do that and I'm back once this is done. So once the mood green is applied, it will look like that, okay? And on the cannons, it will look like that. Okay, so we have that. Now we are going to apply Warstone Glow around the green we applied before. Leaving the center with the mood green, okay? So we are going to do something like that. We want to leave really And if it's not covering that well, it's not a problem because it's what we want. We want that it's not covering well and it's a little bit transparent the paint. See? Then we want to go a little bit on top of the blue, as you can see here. Okay. Something like that.
Okay, and you want to do as well the inside here and the inside here. And then on the plasma, this is a bigger one. At the moment I will I will go and do all the border. Okay, covering the original color. This is going to show this is the green glow. And now I realize I will use the same warp glow to these drops, although we are going to change the we are going to make them brighter. I want to look them like acid drops. Okay. So we are going to use the same warp strong glow to this type of drops that are falling from the guy. We're going to simulate. We're going to simulate like acid or something like that. So this is the green. Okay. Here we are. Okay, I'm going to do the same on these ones and I come back okay this is how the plasmas are looking like right now okay now we are going to do some blending so I'm going to use a model color in that case color to have a brighter um, just looking for I will try to have a brighter color, so I'm going to use this one that is yellow green, okay? And I'm, we are, I'm going to use again a mood green and and warstone glow. So I put this on my palette. A bit block. Always good to have a nail. much better so first I will use this yellow green to adjust we go uh, and we apply this just at the middle of this you see that I'm trying to play that uh, to put very little and play with the transparency of the yellow green. Okay, and I'm going to do the same here. And if you go to bright, we will come later on with mod green. Okay, but you can see I try to go soft. With that, okay. You see, we can add a little bit more here. And now we are going to go to the plasma. Then in the plasma, we are going to apply this at the middle. Okay. Now, of course, it's super evident because here we went for a bigger surface. But don't worry. Okay. This is what. Now I'm going to use uh, take mod green. I 
well thin down and mix it okay blend brush and now I go next to it We clean up a little bit the dark green, we put too much here. And here we have. So this is the glowing effect. Let's do it here on this plasma that is bigger. So first I come with the yellow green, it's quite an intense green, but you can see that once you start spreading, it's coming led right okay it's quite a transparent color so if you play well with the transparency it will give you a good result now I come with mud green and we smooth even more the transition okay here we apply there and here we like to avoid that we have harsh transitions so we mix a little bit as needed and we smoothen always trying to keep the middle one the middle part brighter go back with the good yellow apply again in the middle like that no we're green, we want to soften again. Okay. This is the part that can be, it's much easier normally to do this with airbrush. But if you don't have airbrush, you can see that there's also possibilities to do it anyway. Okay, I'm mixing, I'm trying to work until I have the finishing that I want, okay? I'm going to take now the washstone glow. We can mix it with a little bit of mud green and go here next to it. Okay, so we don't know the other one. To say it, first we apply the yellow. And once we have the yellow, this is the green yellow from Vallejo, as it said, we go with moth green. I don't think we have a similar yellow from Citadel. This is why sometimes you have to look for other brands. Of 
course we will try to be as similar as the other as possible Mud green is a little bit dark and darker than what used to be. Strike scorpion in the past. Uh, yeah, or putrid green used to have in the past. So this green is a little bit more, is a little bit darker. But you can get a good job anyway. You can mix always with yellow. If you don't have the model color yellow, you can try to use, let's call this, a flash uh, yellow or uh, yeah, flash with yellow is the one that is the closer. You can use this mix with mud green and will give you a quite um, fluor green, I will say it in a way, right? Fluorescent green is what we look here. Okay. Want to put a little bit more of yellow in the middle. Okay, and now we have the weapons done and we can start painting the teeth. The teeth that will go will be, instead of going for a metallic teeth, I will go for more, more uh, natural looking teeth and I will start applying uh, um, flayed one flesh on the teeth. Okay, we'll go for uh, ivory looking teeth. So let me do it here, okay, so we apply this on all the different teeth and of course we are going to do the same on the head. So I will this, do this and because this is have not too much technique here, it's just applying the color, I am back once it's done. Okay, one thing that I was forgetting when is I, we have the drops here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same yellow we use for the plasma, we remove it and then we go over this very thin, okay, so you want to really go transparent and add this extra greenish touch here, okay, you can also Okay, and we put extra yellow at the bottom. Okay, something like that. Okay, and now I keep working on the teeth, so you can see. Just wanted to explain how I do all these droplets. So I just put the cannons together to see how everything looks like, okay? You can see that I, I like quite how it's looking and here you see from the other side, okay? So this is just holding by friction. It's holding quite well, so I don't know if I will at the end magnetize, glued or just leave it as it is. So let's do the next step and we are going to do a wash on the teeth. I'm going to use a, um, Aglax Air Shade. Okay, and we are going to wash the teeth and the mouth with Advax L shade. And at the same time, we are going to do as well this part here, the exhaust pipe. So let's do 
first these things, okay, and we are going to watch them. You can go quite heavy with this, and the intention is really to darken between the teeth if they are together and to make the base of the teeth darker as well. So we are going to apply this as well in the inside and here I'm going to apply it as well inside of the cannon. Okay, we are going to do all the inside of the mouth and again Okay. And don't forget to do the inside of the teeth. And now we are going to do the same at the exhaust pipe of the uh, uh, at the top part or this part of the exhaust pipes to make them darker. Okay, again we go quite uh, generous with that. We apply it everywhere. You can see. Of course you have to try not to dip in other areas, but this is quite is difficult to we go a little bit on the metallic is not a big deal. Especially you have to be more careful when you do the inside. To avoid what we want to avoid is to go on to the blue bars or something like that. Okay, it's quite a fast thing. We are going to apply this here and as well on the plasma cannons, the arms. Okay, on the mouth of the plasma cannons. So, we you can see I also applied inside. We are going to do the second one of um oil on the top so we really want to go darker if you see that it's pulling down we remove a little bit the excess just going with the brush and removing a little bit the excess of, of paint okay uh, you can do two layers if you want okay the other option is to do two layers and I will do now the other um, exhaust pipes so I do that uh, uh, and then I come back once this is done. So after applying the wires that you have seen, okay, now uh, I'm going to clean a little bit the metallics. The metallics are looking in some places quite dirt, and I will use uh, I will clean up them um, using the base color that we use to paint. So we are going to use uh, lead belcher, okay, and in this case, in this canon, it's quite easy what we need to do. I don't even need a small brush and I want, I want to paint each barrel okay, of the cannon. Okay. But as you can see in some places the, the wires have not went I will, I will go for a little bit smaller brush, maybe it went too enthusiastic with the big brush. Ah, I know that I paint normally with small brushes, maybe smaller than what is normally recommended. We are going to clean up as well these things here, they look too messy. to put it on the this rivet. I'm going to reduce the black aura. And if it looks if you went a little bit too much into it, we can use a little bit of black. Okay. We water down the black a little bit and with 
uh, carefully we are going to clean up this but on the other way making it more uniform okay you see now it's making more sense okay so we do the other the two things on these barrels so we are, are going to clean up the parts that we want that are exposed with the metal okay and then with black we are going to do the spaces between the barrels okay and we go soft to be transparent it's almost making a glaze okay and we keep doing that on all the barrels of the cannon so for me the best way to operate to avoid that I forget anything is to go barrel, barrel by barrel and then I do all the steps first I, I clean up the metallic and if I think that I should add some black I add some black okay keep doing so I will clean up all the metallics as you can see and with this same process because the metal is quite dark so we are going also to do these parts here okay you see this looks very dirty so I'm going to come with the the it's called the light, light belcher we are going to clean up this eh? and not leave it as dirty as it was looking like. Okay. So we do that. Okay, so we keep cleaning everything. Okay, all the metallics. We are going to do the same. I'm showing this because it's easier than showing the, the miniature now. But we are going to do the same if we have metal exposed on the other miniature. Uh, although this guy does not have that much metal exposed, we can do this and, and it looks quite clean, but we can touch. Uh, you see the pipes are looking quite good. So here we don't have too much work, but if it's dirty and looks dirty, it's the moment to clean up. And you see the wash is not ready and completely dry, so it will need the way that this dries, uh, here I have a little bit of accumulation so it dripped down a little bit but it's not a big deal here okay so uh, we're going to do all this clean up and I come back so I have cleaned all the metallics here and next step we are going to um, clean up a little bit the teeth to do that I'm going to take Uzbati bone We are going to start from the this part of the teeth up. Okay. So we we'll start from here. We go up. doing okay and again I'm showing no one the cannons because it's going to be the same at the mouth of the forge fin but it's the same exactly the same techniques I'm going to use so it's easier to show you in these cannons and we are going to do the same on the mouth and with that we are going to be almost done eh? because again I want to finish this work and I start doing other things 
So yeah, I will do this and I show you how it looks like once it's done and check what is the next step. Okay, here we are. I think I will give it done. I know that I can do uh, maybe a little more detail on the exhaust pipes, but to be fair, uh, I just wanted to keep it finished and to be uh, to have it ready for the battlefield. Thing looks quite good. Uh, I like uh, a lot how the end color combinations are working. I like the glowing I put on the plasma a little bit. Yeah, you cannot see the glowing that is on the belly on the on the. It's not glued to the base, so I'm not thinking I'm going to glue the base because it's quite stable. And I don't see the need. And one thing that I like it, uh, just by the friction, you can take out the cannons and put the other cannon. So I will. I have found both sets of cannons, okay. And just by friction, they hold in position. So I don't think I will magnetize or glue them at the moment. Uh, maybe in the future, but I think they uh, they look uh, they they hold quite well. They don't fall easily. And this is how we will go in the base. So the base I put all, all this type of um, battle debris with the barbed wire and some other stuff. So I think looks good. And I like more the combination with the plasma. I don't know for the game what is better, but as a miniature uh, with this head, it has to go with the plasma cannons. And I put the head turning so in that way it looks like he's. Uh, is uh, studying someone or is, is, uh, is looking for for the next prey so this is all what i want to to share here so i hope you find this tutorial interesting please let me know what do you think about the paint job or what do you think about the color combination i think it goes for a quite nice uh, table top standard uh, and uh, that's all so yeah this is all for this video Please give a like if you have liked this video, comment, share, this will help me a lot. And also, if you want, you can support me in Patreon. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!